As Franny's last sparkles disappeared, the door of the animal shelter opened, and Aunt Helen came back in. She was carrying the special candy lens, helping hands by a spa of jelly jelly beans and a big smile on her face. Here is Tao surprise, she said, her eyes shining with excitement. You should take it, take it, girls. I'd like you to be the ones to present it to Tao. Rachel and Kirsty held the bag between them and looked down at the pile of lim <coughs> pile of limming colorful jelly beans. They shared a secret smile, thinking about how Fanny had been inside that, but just a short time ago. They look delicious, said, <coughs> said Kirsty. And now we know that they are going to taste delicious too," said Rachel, smiling with relief. Just then, they heard happy barking, and two golden retrievers bounded in. They ran up to the girls, wagging their tails. Rachel laughed and patted them. "You two remind me of my dog Buttons," she said. "They are great, aren't they?" said the boy who had followed them in. The two dogs. Turned and weaved around the boy's leg, leaning against him and panting happily. They are saying thank you because I took them for a walk. He said, smiling and gently rubbing their ears. Rachel and Kirsty exchanged a knowing smile. They knew that this had to be Tao. What are their names? Kirsty asked. Candy, Candy and Sweetie. The boy replied, "And I am Tao." Before the girls could introduce themselves, the door at the back of the shelter opened, and J B came in with another man and woman. Ah, I see you have found Tao," he said. "This is Mark and Nikki, and they work here at the shelter too. And I told them why you were here. They wanted to come along too." Tao looked around with a confused expression. He could not understand why everyone was smiling at him. Then Rachel and Kirsty stepped forward. Tao, everyone here would like to reward you for your kindness and helpfulness," said Kirsty. Your friends told the people at Candyland all about the volunteer work you do here," said Rachel. "You are super kind to all the animals." And you walk them every day, no matter what the weather's like or how tired you are. My aunt Helen asked us to give you this," said Kirsty. "She works at Candyland, and you have won their helping hands award. Congratulations, Tal." Together, Rachel and Kirsty handed the big bag of candy to Tal. His mouth fell open, and his cheeks went pink. J. B. Nikki. Mark and Aunt Helen clapped. Thank you, Tao said. I cannot believe it. Jelly beans are my absolute favorite candy in the world. You deserve it, said Rachel, giving Tao a big smile. Tao grinned, and then put the jelly beans on the desk. Before I get my treat, my friends deserve theirs. He said he reached down behind the desk and pulled out a jar of healthy doggy treats. Soon, Candy and Candy and Sweetie were crunching bone-shaped biscuits and wagging their tails, even harder than before. Then Tal offered his jelly beans around to everyone before taking one himself. I got a pink one," said Kirsty, popping it into her mouth. "Mmm, it's strawberry, delicious. Mine's grapes." Grape said Rachel, who had chosen a purple one. These are yummy, much better than morning moss or frosty fungus. Kirsty added in a whisper. Rachel looked around. Everyone else was chatting with Tal. She could talk to Kirsty without being overheard. I think about the jelly beans that are growing in the orchard at the Fairyland Candy Factory. She said. Do you remember how bright and shiny and tasty they look? Kirsty nodded. I bet that the fairies are busy picking the candy for their harvest feast tomorrow. She said. Oh, Rachel, I hope that we can help get that last magical treat 
back from breakfast before then. We have to, said Rachel, feeling determined. We cannot let Jack Frost spoil the very special day. Don't worry, the harvest feast is going to be amazing. And I cannot wait to be a part of it.